everyone and welcome back to my youtube channel thank you so much for watching today i created this mask it's like a half face like um like an opera mask fan of the opera mask i was originally inspired and then i saw manny mua do his recreation of it last night and i was like oh that looks so fun and it really wasn't that hard um and it's nice because you only have to do half of your face not your whole face it's great for anybody that doesn't have like a particular costume or you could just throw on a cute t-shirt and go about your day with this and I'm sure everyone will be amazed by your makeup anyway. I just had chemo yesterday and I feel okay sitting down and filming but if I stand up it's like a whole nother story so I've been lucky enough to get to do this today. Um, but yeah I hope you guys enjoy this makeup tutorial and if you want to see how I got this half doll um, mask look please keep watching. So to start off this look, I'm going to be moisturizing my skin using um, the Vital C line by Image Skin Care and I also go in with an oil facial enhancer that you see here. I just wanted my face to be super moisturized for this look. Oh, just so beautiful. I know. <laughs> so to start off this look, I'm just using my brow wiz to outline kind of the shape of the mask and just putting it where I want it on my face. It doesn't have to be perfect because we're going to go in and soften this line and blend it into our skin anyway. So for foundation, I'm using a lighter shade than I normally would because I wanted the mask to really stand out. So I'm using the shade Night Light Neutral by Tarte. And then for concealer, I'm using Fair Beige Shape Tape. And then I'm just going to set it with my Physician's Formula Pressed Setting Powder. For my brows, I'm using the Dip Brow Pomade by Anastasia in Soft Brown and just filling them in and carving them out the way I normally would. So I'm going to start by taking the shade Jada from the Jaclyn Hill and Morphe palette and buffing that into my crease. And I'm going to bring it out towards the end of my eyebrow as well. I'm going to be bringing these shadows pretty high up onto my brow bone because I'm going to do a pretty dramatic cut crease as well. So here I'm just going in with the next shade, which is Twerk by the Jaclyn Hill palette. And then followed by Royalty, which is also in the Jaclyn Hill palette. And then I'm also using the Born to Create palette by Morphe and taking the shade Create and buffing that into the crease. And then back to the Jaclyn Hill palette, I'm using the shade Hunts here. And then once I get all the colors to the intensity that I want, I start blending out the inner crease with a yellow shade. I'm using the shade STFU by NYX. Now I'm just taking some shape tape on a flat definer brush and I'm going to start cutting out this crease. actually going in with Doll by Kylie Cosmetics, which is a liquid lipstick, and putting that in my crease. It was pretty difficult because it's matte, so it's really fast drying, but I figured it out. For eyeliner, I'm just using a black liquid eyeliner, and I'm going to be drawing on a wing, and I wanted it to really match the shape of the cut crease that we did. taking some more shape tape and fixing up that line. For my lower lash line, I'm going to be buffing in the shade Create um, on the outer and inner part of my eye. And then right in the center, you'll see I'm using the shade Loyalty again from the Jaclyn Hill palette, which is just any purple you can use. And I'm going to be putting that directly in the center. Then I'm just going to add some mascara to my lower lashes. Chemo has really taken my eyelashes from me, so I'm just going to be coating what I can. Now I'm just going to lightly contour the inside of the mask. I'm using the Butter Bronzer by Physicians Formula, 
And for a blush, I'm using Peaches by MAC. Here I'm taking some white face paint and painting on some white little accents onto my face. This really makes the mask look shiny and plastic. taking a makeup wipe and cleaning up any makeup that got outside of the mask. Now I'm just going back in with my brow wiz and redefining that line and then I'm going to be buffing it out with the shade Chip from the Jaclyn Hill palette and you really just want to keep blending and blending and blending this out. Um, this is what really is going to make the mask look lifted off of your face and make it look like it's not a part of your face. So now I'm taking the shade Soda Pop and a little flat definer brush and putting this along the line. And then I'm going to be buffing it out again with Chip. I just go back and forth between these two steps throughout this video because that's really what's going to give it the dimension. Now I'm taking that white face paint again and putting it at the very top of the mask. Again, this is just a step to help make it look like it has more dimension and make it look plastic. Of course, we have to highlight and I'm using the Amrezi shade by Anastasia. Here, I'm just putting on lash glue. This is how I adhere the jewels to my face. Then to finish this look off, I'm using Candy Yum Yum by MAC Cosmetics. And then once that is done, this look is complete. I hope you guys enjoyed and happy Halloween.